Hey everybody, I'm Courtney from Butter For All, and today I'm going to um, show you how to make my sourdough discard crackers. These are made with uh, a sourdough starter that's fully fermented. It's the portion that you would remove from the jar before feeding it. So it's a really great way to use some of that extra older sourdough discard. So let's get started. I'm going to start by weighing out the sourdough discard from um, my jar. This actually just came out of the refrigerator, so it's pretty thick. I keep my sourdough discard at 100% hydration, and we want 340 grams of discard. My recipe is going to be linked um, in the description. So you'll be able to go straight to the recipe and see it there. We're at 335, so I'm just gonna, oh, perfect, 340, and get that. Okay, I'm gonna zero this out. I'm gonna add the olive oil. It's 60 grams of olive oil. Just a teeny tiny bit more. Perfect. All right. And I'm going to add some salt. Five grams. Perfect. And I'm going to add my rosemary. Now I'm going to keep a little bit of this rosemary for the topping because I'd like to sprinkle a little on the top of the cracker before it bakes. But the rest of it, I'm just going to kind of crush it up. So it's not huge pieces. This is just dried organic rosemary. And that goes right in. This takes a little bit of mixing to get the olive oil incorporated into the sourdough starter. But this is a batter cracker recipe. So um, I just make a batter and I'm going to spread it onto my baking sheet. And then it's going to bake. Um, until it's nice and brown and crispy. These are really beautiful rustic crackers. Now this really takes some mixing. You don't want any oil. So right now you can see that the oil is still kind of hanging around the outside of the batter. And you, you really want to make sure that it's fully mixed in. So give it some really good whisking. You can see now that the batter is pretty smooth. It doesn't look oily at all. And that's it. You want to use this size pan, a half sheet pan, with a sheet of parchment paper on it. Um, this will make sure that the crackers are the right thickness for baking. <clears throat> a smaller pan, your crackers will be too thick. Okay. Just gonna get all of the batter out onto the parchment paper. You don't need to grease it or anything. There's plenty of olive oil already in the batter. These are just an olive oil and rosemary cracker. Really simple, really good with cheese, charcuterie, pate, snacking. <laughs> Now the next step is to just um, smooth this batter down all the way to the corners. It doesn't have to be pretty. If your sourdough starter has just come out of the refrigerator, this is a little bit harder. I would let it rest on the counter for about 30 minutes before mixing this batter. If it's right out of the fridge, it's pretty hard to spread even after the whisking. And you just want, you want a really, really thin, even layer. The thick parts, if there's thick parts, will not cook evenly and they'll be pretty chewy um, while the thin parts might get extra crisp. So. Just make sure you're going all the way to the edge of your pan. All the way to the corners. Turn it 
turn this around so it's easier for me. Okay, this is looking pretty close. This is the probably the most time consuming part of the whole recipe is just making sure that your batter is super even. You don't want any thin spots. The thin spots you can kind of tell are a little bit darker because you can see the pa parchment paper through the batter. I'm gonna get it right into the corner. If there's a little extra, you can push it kind of into the corners if you're having trouble thinning it out. Push that up into the corner a little bit. All right. Here I have a little bit of rosemary. And I'm going to just sprinkle that on top. Makes it look really pretty when it comes out of the oven. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my finishing salt. Probably a gram or two. Let's start with a gram. I wouldn't do more than that, really. Don't want it to be salty. But I really like the look and just that little texture of the crispy salt and that little pop of saltiness. This, the crackers themselves are not super salty. Okay, so there's the batter on the parchment paper and ready to go into a 325 degree oven for 30 minutes. And at 30 minutes, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you how I score these crackers so that it's they're easy to break up when they're completely done. So I'll see you back in a couple minutes. Hi, I'm back. It's been 30 minutes and my crackers are about halfway baked. And I'm gonna show you how I score them really easily with a pizza cutter, just to make sure that they um, break up nicely out of the oven. So I'm just gonna use um, a pizza cutter and I'm just gonna lightly cut through these partially cooked crackers. Now I'm gonna go the other way, making some nice big rectangular crackers. One more cut through. They don't have to be perfect. It's kind of nice to have rustic crackers that are all different shapes and sizes. You can also wait till they're completely baked and then break them up if you want really rustic looking crackers. But there you can see I have all my crackers cut. And now they're gonna go back in the oven for 30 more minutes and finish baking. Um, and then they'll be done. Hey you guys, I'm back. It's been 30 more minutes and my crackers are completely baked. They're nice and golden brown and crispy. They're still a little bit warm, but you can see they're, um, they're very thin and crisp. And I'm just gonna fill them into this bowl here. Sometimes the, like I said, the edges don't, aren't as broken, but you should be able to break them right along that little scoring mark that you made. And we got some nice crackers. I think you guys will be really happy with this recipe. They're very crisp, very light and flaky. And they have a delicious kind of caramelized sourdough flavor. And depending on how sour your starter is, they're gonna, um, they might even be more sour if your starter is a little bit um, older. So there you have it. Nice, crisp sourdough discard crackers made with the portion of your sourdough that you're taking out before feeding. And it's a nice big bowl of crackers and they look delicious. So I can't wait to get some pate out and, and enjoy these. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and I hope you'll subscribe. I plan to do more sourdough recipes in the future. And um, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, that's great. Uh, you can find me at Butter For All. Just um, join the conversation and get cooking. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks a lot.